somersaults and twists. It's common in a jump to have a rotation of the character, like we see in this example of a gymnastic uh, somersault. And when we have this kind of rotation, often the pose of the character changes uh, in order to control the rotation. Uh, there's a common uh, physics demonstration where you stand on a platform uh, holding some weights, and when you bring the weights towards your body, you reduce the rotational inertia, and that increases the speed of rotation. And then you can pull the weights back out, and that slows you back down, and then you can pull them back in, and that speeds you back in. Very much like when a uh, ice skater uh, does a spin, uh, bringing her arms and legs close to her body. Uh, here's an example, so you see that I'm uh, spinning on the platform, I reduce my rotational inertia, I go faster, I increase it again, I go slower, go faster, get dizzy. So, uh, so uh, for example, in a somersault, if it starts out with a fairly slow rotation in a straight layout, then uh, bringing the body in uh, to a loose pike uh, will actually increase the rotation rate by about a factor of two, and uh, going into a tight tuck is about five times faster than the original slow rotation. Now, another uh, aspect which we saw in a previous um, video about uh, spinning, tumbling, and wobbling is the uh, tennis racket theorem, which tells us that uh, on some axes we have a stable spinning motion, uh, like the vertical axis or the axis uh, through the center for um, a tennis racket, but uh, the end over end um, axis for a tennis racket is unstable to uh, tumbling, so the motion goes into a very irregular type of rotation. Uh, for uh, characters, we have uh, something similar, so in a, in a T pose like this, the somersault axis is actually uh, unstable. We might start rotating uh, in a somersault in this pose, but uh, it is unstable and the rotation will start to become irregular. Uh, the axes which are stable in this pose are the cartwheel axis and the twisting axis. Uh, on the other hand, by changing the pose, the stability of the um, axes will change. And so in this pose, uh, the somersault axis is uh, stable, and it's the cartwheel axis which is unstable. And here's another uh, pose which has a stable um, somersault axis. So uh, we'll have a spinning motion in the uh, uh, for somersaults in this pose, uh, and um, Again, in this one, the cartwheel axis is uh, unstable. Now, uh, by changing the pose, the um, rotation uh, can change significantly, uh, not just in the rate, but also in the form of the rotation. So uh, we often see this in uh, divers, where they go into, uh, they may start with a simple somersault and go into this pose where they're crossing the arms, and that uh, adds a twisting rotation to the somersault. Uh, here's a sequence of um, images illustrating that. So uh, this is a forward two and a half somersault with two twists. So we start with somersaults, then uh, the diver changes uh, to this pose. Um, in that pose, we still have a somersault rotation with a twisting um, motion on top of that, and then uh, they uh, bring the arms back, which returns them to a somersault rotation. So, uh, how do we uh, acquire a rotation, a rotating motion? So, if we want to um, turn, uh, the most common situation is to apply a torque. So, uh, applying a torque, uh, as we saw, will um, create a uh, rotation, we can accelerate uh, by using a force, 
uh, and apply that at a lever arm and that produces a rotation. So um, here we see a sequence of images. Uh, we'll see the video in just a second where uh, I had a volunteer and I told him to jump in the air and uh, I wanted him to land facing uh, towards his right, so that's screen left. So he knew the direction that he needed to turn, so when he pushes up off the ground, he knows to uh, push uh, with a force that gets his body uh, rotating uh, uh, almost immediately. You see here, he's already turning uh, even before he reaches his apex. So let's uh, see that video. So watch how he jumps and turns. Now, what's interesting is if I uh, told you to jump in the air without telling you which direction uh, to land, and when you were at your apex, I pointed either left or right, you should still be able to uh, land and be facing in that direction. Now, you might ask, how is it possible to rotate in midair without pushing off of anything? Uh, so since you can't push off of anything, you can't uh, rotate your body using a torque. Here's, uh, sorry, Let's see the video? Okay, so, um, so here uh, we see how uh, our volunteer is um, doing this. So he s rotates his upper body in one direction and rotates the lower body in the direction uh, that he wants to be facing when he lands. So, of course, once he lands, then um, using his feet on the ground, he can apply a torque to rotate his upper body uh, in the direction that he needs to be uh, facing, uh, but he's able to rotate his lower body uh, in the direction that the feet need to be pointing uh, by pushing off of the upper body. In a sense, this is action-reaction, so um, the lower body is pushing off of the upper body, uh, so we have a pair of action-reaction torques. Now, uh, here's an example of the same thing in a skateboarding trick, a front side 180, uh, where the skater jumps, um, rotates the lower body in one direction by swinging the upper body in the opposite direction. Uh, but the most impressive type of torqueless rotation is the cat's ability uh, to land on its feet. Uh, so in this case, uh, both upper body and lower body are rotating in the same direction, but that causes an overall rotation of the cat in the opposite direction, uh, and that overall rotation of the cat allows it to uh, turn its uh, pose from being feet up to feet down. Here's a quick video uh, demonstrating that. Uh, so see how the cat's body is angled. It's turning both upper body and lower body and lands uh, safely on the ground. So. Uh, now here, uh, I'll show you the similar thing using a rotating platform. I'm uh, not nearly as agile as a cat, so uh, it's not as easy for me to uh, accomplish the same thing. But, um, but there you see the rotation. Um, so I uh, angle the body, um, rotate the upper and lower halves in, the, in that uh, direction, and uh, the whole body uh, rotates. So in uh, summary, uh, rotation can be sped up or slowed down by changing a character's pose. Uh, somersaults, twists, and cartwheel turns may be stable uh, spinning motion, or they can be unstable tumbling motion, and it all depends on the, uh, on the character's pose. Uh, gymnasts are very um, intuitively familiar with um, these different um, poses. Uh, the axis of rotation uh, can change by changing a character's pose, like we saw with the diver uh, going from a somersault to a somersault with a twist. And finally, rotations 
are usually created by uh, applying a torque. Uh, however, uh, a character can uh, turn uh, without a torque. So, um, as we saw, the most advanced example is the uh, cat um, turning around to land on its feet.